I'll be showing 10 new features in Microsoft Teams. These include meetings improvements, whiteboard improvements, files, Outlook integration, and a few others. So let's get started. The first feature is the ability to add a whiteboard to a channel. This is great in education or as well as corporate brainstorming anywhere you need to have a whiteboard pinned up in a channel. Now I'm here in a team, it has a few channels, but I'm gonna create a new one. So I'll go to the dot 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 menu and choose add channel. There's my channel name, click add. So I have a new channel here. I'm gonna go up to the plus right here and I'm just gonna search for whiteboard. And there it is, so click whiteboard. I'll give it a name, project blue whiteboard and click save. Now first off it's gonna ask, do I wanna present or collaborate? And this is really handy. If I just want this to be a read only whiteboard that other people can't mess with, I'll choose present and click this. Now the whiteboard is read only for everyone else and as you can see only I can edit. And if I wanna change that, I can go here to the gear and say other participants can edit. So if I wanna make this read write a little bit later, I'll turn that on and close. Now you have that full whiteboard capability right here on a channel and it's always there. And maybe what you can do is do a brainstorm. So do something that looks like this. Here's an example of a whiteboard I filled out in a different channel. So I can go full screen just like this. I can zoom in, I can scroll around the page just like I would in a normal whiteboard. And again, over on the gear, after we're done editing, I can just say, you know what, now this is read only and no one else can mess with it. All of these whiteboards are stored by whoever created it. I'll flip over to Kara to show this. I'm signed in as Kara, who created these whiteboards and the owner of the team. And if I go to the all apps in the lower left, scroll down and find whiteboard right here, here are all the different whiteboards. There's the Project Blue whiteboard, there's the Metaphysics whiteboard in the recreation room. The second new feature is Presenter View in Teams. This is the new one that just rolled out that gives you the ability to see notes and videos and chat and everything else all in one view. I'm signed in to my meeting and I'm the organizer, the presenter, and I'm gonna to go to the share tray in the upper right and click share content. Now you have all the normal options you've seen. I could share my desktop, I could share a window, but we're gonna go way over here on the right where you see PowerPoint. And there's a couple of examples here, but I'm gonna upload a brand new presentation into presenter mode. So I'll click browse and choose a PowerPoint deck and choose upload from my computer in this case. I'll choose my solar system deck. So it's gonna upload the PowerPoint into this new presenter mode. Here's presenter mode, and this is what you see as a presenter behind the scenes. It's sort of like the PowerPoint presenter mode in standalone, but this is now built into Teams. First off, I can see all the notes for any slides over here on the right. So I have my solar system slide, and here are some notes that I might be taking. Along the bottom, this is kind of like that slide sort of view. If I need to jump ahead to a different slide, I can do that. If I want to navigate over here, my Neptune slide, I can jump ahead really easily and use this little scroll bar on the bottom. There's also just the basic slide controller. So right now I'm on slide seven to 15. If I want to go backwards, I click the back button and what you'll see down at the bottom, it goes to slide six. So that's highlighted in red. If I want to go forwards and whenever I click the little navigate forward here, what everyone else will see is the same thing. So this is the basic navigating through the slides using these arrows here. And you can see that red highlight below. What's also really cool in this new presenter mode is I can see all the videos below. So it's been a big request to be able to see videos while I'm presenting of the people who are in the meeting, but I can also go here and click the chat. So I can now see chat and videos and the slides. So I can see that there's a chat happening over here on the right. If I wanna see any participants, I can see that here and I can access the menu and choose all the other choices that I might want to do while I'm in the meeting. Then this presenter view kind of behind the scenes. The third feature is some improvements to files and how they're handled. I'm gonna to go to files here. Now I can select a file and I will choose pin to top and that pins it so it's a little more prominent. I can pin a folder so I will go here, select science rubrics and click pin to top and I'll pin one more, the solar system, pin to top. Now the other thing is, is you can change the order. So I will select solar system here and on the dot, dot, dot menu, choose edit pin and I'll say move right. So now I move that to the middle. Now other people who come in here will also see these pinned across the top. To unpin something, I just select it like this, go to the dot, dot, dot menu, choose edit pin and then unpin. The fourth feature are improvements where we bring in SharePoint views to the files tab in Teams. So if I go here to all documents, I can choose tile view now. And now these are tiles. And these are just personal to me, so other people don't see this view. This is just my view of the files. I can drop down documents and choose compact list. 
I can also do save current view as, very much like SharePoint view. And I could say Mike's favorite view, and I could make this public view. So I could save this. Now, other people, when they come in here, they can drop it down and they will see, oh, Mike's favorite view. This is the view that Mike really likes. And I can edit the current view. Again, very similar to SharePoint. This will launch you out into the full SharePoint view editing experience. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can create really interesting views and then save them into your files inside of Teams. The fifth feature is the ability to drag an Outlook attachment directly into Teams files. So I'm gonna go split screen. So I have Outlook here and I have my Teams files here. And here is an Amazon Rainforest Word document. I'm gonna click and drag that right over to here and drop, and it's gonna upload that directly. So it's uploading it right here. You can see it just uploaded it. And there is my Amazon Rainforest document. So just drag drop from Outlook attachments right into files and Teams, really easy. The sixth feature is disabling Teams meeting chat. Now one note, this only works for standalone meetings or meet now. If you use channel meetings, you've always had the ability to moderate chat. So that stays the same. This only applies to these one-off meetings. First off, I'm in my Teams calendar and I'm gonna go join this meeting. One note, at the end of this video, I will show you how to set up the meeting ahead of time so chat is never even enabled. But the meeting we're gonna join, I'm gonna show how to disable it in real time during the meeting, so let's join. Hey everyone, great to see you all today. I'm gonna be sharing a presentation and I'd like to have everyone pay attention. So I know some of you might be chatting right now and so what I wanna make sure is that we are completely focused on what I'm gonna be talking about and sharing. And that includes you too, Adam. And I'm watching you, Anne, I'm watching you. So what I'm gonna do is go to the dot, dot, dot menu here, and I'm gonna choose meeting options. And you're gonna notice there's this new option here, allow meeting chat, and right now it's enabled. And you know what? I just wanna disable it permanently for my presentation. So I'm gonna disable and hit save. Now, if you go back into the chat, everything stopped. Gabby and Tessa are trying to type, but nothing's coming through. Chat is turned off for the meeting. So now I can go up to my share tray here and I can share my presentation. Now it looks like Adam and Anne were still trying to chat, but they've been blocked. They can't, their hands are tied. Now my presentation is loaded. I can go through the deck and I can be sure that the students aren't gonna be chatting while well, I'm trying to have them all focus. Now, let's say my presentation is all done. I'll stop presenting. Now, if I go back to the dot, dot, dot menu and go to meeting options, I can go back here and enable the chat. Hit save. And now, all of our friends can start chatting again, just like they were before. Now, the other thing is you might say, well, I don't want anyone chatting in that meeting after the meeting ends. That's a common scenario. Well, the good news is I can go to the dot, dot, dot menu and go to meeting options. And I'm going to set this to in meeting only. What that means is they can keep chatting in the meeting, but as soon as the meeting ends, they won't be able to go back. Chat will be disabled. So if Adam and Ann make a plan at midnight to meet up and chat in that meeting, no way, not allowed. Now let's say that you wanted to have the meeting chat disabled before the meeting even ever starts. You can go into your calendar like here and I'll be the organizer. I'm gonna edit my meeting that I sent out and I'm gonna to go to meeting options. Now here in meeting options, before it starts, I can go allow meeting chat and I can just say disabled and hit save. The seventh feature is turning on Teams meetings by default for every meeting you create in Outlook for the web. I'm in Outlook for the web, and I'm gonna go in the upper right and click the gear. Now at the bottom, there's this view all Outlook settings, click that. Now you'll go to calendar right here, and then choose events and invitations. There's a checkbox, let's check it. Add online meeting to all meetings, hit save. And now close the dialog. Now we're gonna to go to our calendar here, open up new event in the upper left, and let's give it a title. Now the Teams meeting doesn't enable until you actually add an attendee. So I'm gonna add an attendee here, and now this flips on by default. So it's automatically a Teams meeting. I don't ever have to remember again to flip that switch. Let's hit send, and there my Teams meeting is ready to go. 
The eighth feature is launching Teams right here from Outlook. So right now there's a chat here. If I click this, it's gonna launch me right into Teams. That's a small feature, but it's really handy. The ninth feature is more Teams integration directly into your different Outlook web views. So for example, I've got a meeting coming up in five minutes as a team meeting. If I click this, you'll see I can join right from within Outlook. So I click join and now I'm ready to go right in. Another way to join easy, if I go to the calendar and I have a meeting right here, when I click, I can join right from there. Or if I drop down this to-do pane for my day, I open it up in the calendar, there's also a way to join. So there's lots of ways to make it really fast to join a Teams meeting right from Outlook Web. The tenth and final feature is adding a channel calendar to your team. I'm here in Teams and I'm signed in as Kara the Educator. And Kara has set up an office hours channel right here and she's got a channel meeting that she's already created. It happens every day. So what Kara wants to do is create a calendar for this channel that anyone in the class can go and check out. And this doesn't just have to be education, it can be anyone who has channel meetings. I'll click the plus to add a tab. And here's channel calendar. If you don't see it, you can search for channel calendar. I'll click it, click add, and we'll give it a name. And I'm just gonna leave it as channel calendar. Click add. Now it immediately puts me into the channel calendar and you can see it's added this as a tab at the top. Now I can see all of the channel meetings that are in the office hours channel meeting calendar. If I wanna add a new channel meeting, it's really easy. I go up here, I drop this down, choose schedule a meeting. We'll give it a title and it's gonna be in the office hours channel in my science team and we'll make that start at 4 p.m. and we will send that out. And now you can see it's automatically right here in that channel calendar. One note, currently you cannot open this up in Outlook and you cannot, it doesn't link to SharePoint in the same way. If you've added a SharePoint calendar and pinned it in here, it doesn't do that. So this is just part of this team as a channel calendar tab. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.